Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Dirt 3. So we're gonna finish the Season 2 X Games here with the Rally Car Final, and then we are going to probably move on to the smaller triangle rally things and see if a new one of those unlocks. I don't think I actually ever finished that. The Summer that, X Games so Finals are a huge event, that'd and the Coliseum's packed. But don't get nervous. You're ready for this. This is an interesting coliseum. It looks like it looks like a rebuilding of the the actual coliseum uh, in Italy. And there they have flags for the Republic of California at the same height as California as the United States flag because I believe for a short period California was its own country. Most of the states were never their own country therefore they have to hang their flag below the United States flag but uh, a few of them were countries for the short time and so they put them in parallel. Also the airplanes flew over and did not quite red, white, and blue but different colors of smoke. Somebody just crashed into something. Wow. This is amazing how much crashing is going on and I'm having no part of it at all. Uh, I imagine that's the game trying to help me out because I had a slow start. Ooh, this is pretty deadly. stuck behind this car. So we may actually have a bit of a challenge here. Lately these races have actually required me to, to, to struggle way more than any of the races before to actually get the first place. And so you have to back off the acceleration a little bit to to not lock lock into the back end of the car in front of me. And I have to find opportunities where I can pass. Alright, so in lap two, first place, probably not going to leave first place for the rest of the race. So the race is effectively over. Unless I really, really screw up. We just let the auto throttling to do its job. Although I kind of wish to turn it off. But that would definitely be the first thing I would want to turn off is just auto throttling uh, and leave everything else on. Just let me learn that little bit of the game. But I don't know if I really want to bother to learn that much. We're halfway through the game already and and. It, it feels like, particularly to get your money's worth here, you, you might just want to run through the entire game the first time on casual to unlock all the cars. And then if you wanted to start becoming uh, expert in this style of gameplay, you would turn off the auto throttling and turn up the difficulty to three under custom settings. It also occurs to me that Maybe racing car games should uh, or just naturally do have a little bit more of a burden on them because this is a big AAA game and it definitely deserves to be sold at 60. But, you know, personally to myself, if you pitch this to me at 30, a brand new, I could much easier justify that in my head. Uh, because I know I'm not a, a racing fan, and I know I'm not going to play the game that much. Uh, I'm not their target market. And I guess there's there's some weirdness there where, where the target audience of people may very well pre-order or even buy a game like this in early access for $60 but a lot of people who aren't their target audience could, 
are eventually going to have to find it on sale six months to a year to even longer uh, uh, later. Yeah, I can much more justify buying Dirt 3 now than I could say justify buying Dirt 4, even though I haven't seen any of Dirt 4, so I can't really make any kind of critical uh, review of it. Uh, just Dirt 3 looks good enough to me. Uh, after playing Dirt through Dirt 3, I see there's a, kind of a lack of, of of a few things. Lack of tracks, lack of, lack of explanation and tutorials. Dirt 4 will undoubtedly look even better than Dirt 3 does, but Dirt 3 looks amazing. So it, it's also possible that Dirt 4 may not look any better unless you have a very very powerful graphics card uh, even more powerful than what I have uh, so that is another consideration and here we're on lap 5 and this race feels just a little too long when you're playing on casual because all those cars behind me are they are like nowhere close you can even see them on the map there. The closest one is at least 20 yards behind in my guesstimate. Uh, uh, not being a car guy, I wouldn't... The idea of getting Dirt 4 just for the 2017 models of cars has zero appeal to me. Uh, and frankly, that's one of the rare cases where DLC makes more sense instead of having a wholly new numbered game instead just put out DLC for the next year's model of cars for people who are interested in that. Uh, so often in games we see DLC is, is pretty much Your mandatory content that, that should have been Let's in the post main it on game. YouTube. Uh, but it, it works. It's much more acceptable in my mind if it's content that a lot of people and you wouldn't like it doors off. or wouldn't care to have it. This is amazing. I'm so proud of you. Totally. Congratulations, dude. How's it feel to be one of the big dogs? So this is kind of your fanfare cutscene where we finish the second season. Still not a lot, but whatever. We're up to 19 now. And we get some more cars. Welcome to season three, and congratulations on an amazing Summer X Games. Mate, you absolutely tore up the track, and on live TV too. DC was really impressed by your racing, so they've given you access to the newly upgraded depot at Battersea. Hmm. So, let's take a look at season three. You've been driving so well these past two seasons. I think you're well on your way to tackling the ultimate goal, the Super Series. Hang on a second, one season at a time. Sure, the Super Series is the ultimate prize, but it's not being held until the end of the final season. We need to get through season three and the Winter X Games first. Exactly. Hmm. It's gonna be awesome. So buckle up, grab the wheel, and get ready. The X Games are waiting for you, amigo. So we're going to do the Winter X Games after we do all of these. And I don't think we really even need to look right now. We've also unlocked this, which are some more of these races that I knew. Which tells me I need to probably come back and finish these. And I didn't. So we've got some catch up to do. Let's work on finishing all of those uh, now, I guess. Let's just pick something real quick. That wasn't even the right thing, but whatever. Let's just try to hurry through this whole thing. 
Suppose well, then, totally inherently, the that's the problem. Every rally event. Show no mercy. Like, we're halfway through the game, and they've given me probably two mini races, and it's not very linear. So, like, there's a lot of load screens and things happening in between this. Dude. So we haven't done Kenya in a while, and so it, it seems like every season we get some more tracks, which honestly I, I would have I would have had a lot more variety in how I sorted things. I would have had uh, had it so you couldn't even realize that you were doing the same same track over and over again because. It would have to cycle through every track in the Media game. So it's like, opens. assuming that there's like 30 tracks in the game, right, I would over. I would make you do 30 races over the course of a season before you Easy even right. uh, water splash Easy is right. a new term. Right. Uh, I'd have you do 30 races before you were even saw Easy. the first Easy race right. track again. Left. Whereas this is giving you five racetracks Medium left into uh, medium right opens. for the first season and five racetracks for the second season Crest. and that should leave you with Easy about left. 20 Long. racetracks maybe there's slightly Easy more right. than that Easy left. jump over track medium right tighten medium left long now, when it does the camera flash rewind trick, that would be a kind of cool trick to continue races like this. Uh, so, it's a case that's true for every racing game, but if I just drove through the final goal uh, and finished this race, if it just flashed the a bunch of cameras at me and then immediately the car is parked at the next racetrack and you just it goes three two one go don't hit a button don't do anything so right here if right here it just went snap 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 and we were parked and there's not this continuous screen or, or any of that stuff like all of that should just B, press start for stats, or to reset, or to exit. If it just continued the next race, right there, if it could really use my 32 gigabytes of RAM in my computer to do that, that would be amazing, instead of the load screen, and then the, the stat screen, then another load screen, then another stat screen. It, it's really slowing a lot of things down. Um, and this is not a load screen, by the way. That's all this is. So, right here is where it should start you again. Uh, now, some would probably argue that maybe you should just continue the race uh, directly and make it one giant long race, but you need to start from the break or it really isn't a, uh, or it really wouldn't be a separate race at all. And of course, time is different now, but you could just make it like you see the flashes and then time is uh, skipped. Or the, the driver blacks out and forgets what, ha what happened in between. Uh, open hairpin left, long. You don't really have to explain it. The, a more fantastical thing you could do is right. have hairpin the cars jump through a portal and just end up in in the next race that way. Uh, through narrow gate. I, I saw some cartoon, 40, I think, right. uh, that was like a Hot Wheels cartoon where you would jump, they would jump through portals and end up in different worlds and do races. 60, easy uh, 
it was, it was quite the contrivance to, to, to have a Hot Wheels cartoon, but it worked. It worked pretty well. Um, but I would, I would go with the camera idea because that seems more realistic and an easy metaphor to use that they've already used. Like, all this information is good and all, but it doesn't really help. Let's see. And what does it matter if, if, say, halfway through the second race you hit start and you could reset the previous ra race? It doesn't really matter at all. It would just be wasting the player's time. So... You restart the current race, restart the previous race. Uh, go to the stats of the previous race. All of that could be hidden behind the menu and the start button. Just to keep the player into the actual gameplay. Because there's a lot of, of menus and, and stat screens popping up that are taking you out of the racing. I don't know if I'm driving particularly well here. 60, easy right. Bump over track. 60. Medium left into. There we go. Hairpin right. I don't particularly enjoy into, crashing into left. these cars. Alright, here we go. Time to rewind. See, that's exactly the effect I would want. Feels like these races are getting a little bit more difficult on me. Which is probably a good thing. And when you're doing like five different races for a, a rally tournament like this, Ooh, the game locked up. Interesting. Interesting. What to do? What to do? Hmm. Did something pop up on my windows? Let's see. Hopefully I don't end up recording something I shouldn't. Well, what to do, what to do, I guess I have to close it, I guess I just have to crash it. Hmm, and see this is not what we want, I'm going to have to use the task manager to crash it. Totally not responding. And see, when things like this happen to crash, they they really do crash. So uh, I can't even like, I can't even see the task manager. All I can see is a black screen. Which is, I imagine, what you're looking at. So, I'll have to stop the recording and deal with this. And this is completely unacceptable. Like, this is the one thing you can't have happen in a, in a racing game. Alright, so we're back. Oddly, it seems like Steam may have crashed. Like, so, 
I don't know what to believe there. But let's see if the autosave function actually can do anything for us. Like. Like, I don't know. I don't know if the autosave function actually autosaves anything, really. Not, not in the you sense the that you clean can... Last time. It's ready to go when you are. It, it doesn't seem like you can uh, continue. Or maybe the autosave just screwed up, too. So, this one's a confusing one, and we'll have to keep an eye out. Uh, because we're back to race one of five. If we do these races again and it duplicates the problem, then I assume we, we have to say that was the fault of Dirt 3. But the fact that the steam launcher to also closed seems strange. And then it did immediately update. So I, I'm not sure if steam decided to just close itself so it could do updates or what. I don't think Steam's supposed to do that, and that'd be very frustrating if they adopt a Microsoft Windows update st mentality where they can just close down your entire computer and reboot uh, when uh, I'm in the middle of a recording. But it could have been, it could easily have also have been the Dirt 3 crashed Steam. So, but that is an example of the things you can't have in a racing game at all. Look at the little triangles on the left there. I assume each one of those gray triangles is somebody, uh, somebody I passed as far as their time. But it, it might also just be that right they're training. starting at different times. Medium left long. See, I'm almost done with this race, and, Medium right. Don't and cut. it seems like the last person has barely Medium even Medium started. Staggering the start right. in the race probably would help if you didn't Point. have cameras and monitors for a race uh, and that probably is 40. the case for rally car racing is that there's right less into. cameras than a NASCAR right event and less jumbotrons uh, displaying right. what the cameras into are looking right. at and that's kind of one of the 40. ironies Easy of left. going to Keep a sporting right event at all is that for the most okay. part you're probably better off just staying home and looking at the cameras on your TV than going to a stadium and looking at the cameras. That was awesome. That are, you got to show you that have to really the world. Close, Put it on YouTube. Uh, really, really close seats. And so we were in race number two, I believe. We'll have to find out. This is the same car I was driving. Uh, so if we reproduce this issue, That'll be frustrating. And we're really not making as much progress as I would like. And that there's this neon sign, this purple neon sign. Where, um, if it were any other style of video game, I would assume that that was a collectible that I'm supposed to go somehow get the car to jump up and and hit the left. neon sign and we'll see it in a second it's on, it's on one of these buildings it's very distracting considering everything else in this Kenya track is brown dirt there's no animals I, I wonder if that's really the 60. case, though. Easy right, 40. If they would just run away from engine sounds, right. probably, but maybe not. Deer seem not to really care 
and a jump in front of of things. But then last thing I'd want to do is have a car game. There's that purple sign. Uh, just out of nowhere. But yeah, deer jumping in front of the car and potentially getting run over doesn't really add anything to the racing. But I would like to see, particularly in something like Kenya, I'd like to see cheetahs running on the side or, or antelope or uh, animals of the area. I'd like to see them on the far edges but not in actual any danger of being hurt, just to put some something interesting on the sides, although it would be distracting again, instead of just people. And I believe that was the race we locked up on, and no problem there. So I'm not, I'm not ready to really blame dirt. We do have this lag when it loads, but I don't know if that's just, just maybe bad programming and saving or loading or what like, we've not seen any other issues really uh, maybe we saw a visual glitch in the far background of one race but coming off playing some really awful games particularly the Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 6 and the Lego series of games are just terrible PC ports that don't want to run on my computer. Uh, those games were lagging like every five minutes very consistently. And that's, it was just a horrible, horrible experience. This is a nice and smooth experience. And I can forgive one crash. I can forgive even two or three crashes throughout the entire playthrough of a game uh, on PC. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a dead pixel policy to me. While it's never acceptable for a game to crash, it's kind of an industry standard thing to say. Well, if computers are weird, and maybe maybe my PC just overheated or did something crazy. Uh, when it shouldn't have. Plus, I'm also recording, and that, that uh, pushes my PC a little bit more, so I'm willing to forgive a couple of crashes. As long as the rest of the experience is good. And that's what I'm feeling here. And see, these races are going so shortly that we're just gonna go ahead and do one more. Elephant grid. Ah. Does that really stop elephants? I know they do that for cows. They have grids. But I don't think that would stop an elephant. Hmm. This'll be our last race. We'll finish, finish the rally, but we, we've got several of these that we need to catch up on. And I, I wasn't certain when the next of the smaller triangles would unlock, whether it was by finishing these races or by doing something, uh, finishing the seasons. And now it seems like it's by finishing the seasons, which doesn't make a lot of sense because then how do we unlock the other sets? Hmm. We're going to have to do some math when we get back to the main menu. Uh, see, still don't know what like Titans means. And what she's saying is is effectively the same thing you would have seen in other racing 
games where they just put a secondary arrow at the top of the screen to tell you what the next corner is going to be. So that if they could speak in a language and teach me to understand their language uh, in their lingo, uh, it, this it would be more, fin more efficient. But because they never did explain what easy left actually means, uh, what what makes a what what is the angle that makes it an easy? Is that less than the 30 degree angle? Less than an 80 degree angle? Less than a 100 degree angle? Uh, and over what distance do I travel? Uh, do 100 degrees? Hmm. Well. That's all information I'd like to have and I don't think I'm ever going to get. That's This is going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.